the blue corner. He weighed in at 140.2 pounds, wearing blue trunks with white and black trim. He brings a perfect record, 15 wins, no defeats, six of those victories coming by way of knockout from Catano, Puerto Rico, John El Terrible Bausa. Introducing out of the red corner, he weighed in at 138.8 pounds, wearing black trunks with red trim. He too brings a perfect record, 19 wins, no defeats, 12 victories coming by way of knockout from Fayetteville, North Carolina, Michael Boy Wonder, 150%, Williams Jr. Good evening, John. Good evening, Michael. Gentlemen, you both know the rules. Obey my command to protect yourself at all times. Please touch gloves now. Come on, fighting at the bell. Hey. Bernardo Osuna alongside Andre Ward, the Hall of Famer, and Timothy Bradley, the man with the million dollar laugh. What were you laughing at, Tim? <laughs> Nothing. I'm laughing at the guys in the back. <laughs> Making me laugh. It's going to be a good fight right here. A lot of skill in the ring right now. Bausa coming out with the southpaw stance. Both of these guys with the flashy shorts. Ooh, Michael Williams Jr. trained by his father. Yeah, I see them shorts half up and is missing. I see the legs sticking out from Williams. <laughs> but man, look at the, the hot rod flames and all the patches and stuff. I wonder if that thing's a heavy. He gonna need those legs tonight. Jorge Maromero buys in this building will be Macho Camacho. Nice counter right from John Bowser. Down goes Williams. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Step to me, Michael. Okay, let me see you go. The seat of those pants got hot quickly there. Thanks to a counter from Bowser. I, I saw that coming. I saw that punch coming. The feint that Bowser threw earlier during the round. Dropped the hands of Williams. Nice body shot there from Bauza as the fans starting to fill in here at Madison Square Garden. And the Puerto Rican fighter is getting a lot of love. He lives in Bergen, New York now, but he's from Rio Puedra, Piedras, Puerto Rico. Nice counter right from Williams, a long right hand. Taking advantage of that five and a half inch reach disparity in his favor. It's the first time that Michael Williams has faced some real adversity as a professional. A lot of his wins have come against inferior competition. Opponents with more losses than wins. Let's see how he responds. Yeah, Dre, to illustrate that point, only two of his 19 wins have come against opponents with a winning record. No, that's a slip. Uh, he's counted as a slip here. What? Fireworks early from John Bowser on Michael Williams Jr. And I guess one of the hard things for a young fighter is to not try to get it all back at once. He's got seven more rounds after this one ends to take point by point if you get knocked down the first order of business is self-preservation get yourself back together so you can continue and then you're right you want to start to climb your way back in the fight little by little by little if you have the time if it's the last round or maybe you got two rounds left you got to press the issue but that's not the case right now for williams I think it was, it was partial Williams might have been a little bit off balance or squared up when he got hit with that shot. So right as of right now, he looks like his his head is clear and he's back in business. Gets caught again with the left upstairs and then to the body from Bowser. You see when guys when they pull they pull out and they, they try to get away and they're raising their hands up in the air. They're leaving the body exposed. You got to bring those hands inside. That's an amateur mistake that Williams is making. And a double right hand from Bowser who's trying to punish 
Michael Williams Jr. here at the end of the first round. Adam wobbled there. Ashton, lead foot outside of his foot to land that right hand. Manny Siaka, Juan Bausa, his father, and Raul Rivas. Raul Chino Rivas working the corner of John Bauza. In the past, Michael Williams Jr. has had Roy Jones Jr. in his corner. And now he's got his father, Michael Williams Sr., has been with him every step of the way. Round two of a scheduled eight-round fight. Good start for Bauza. Let's see what Williams has here in terms of answers. If I'm in the corner of Williams, I'm concerned because Williams is getting hit with flush shots. They just haven't landed in the right spot yet. Yes, he opens himself up, and that is an amateur move that he's, that he's using, a defensive move. But the shots that he does get hit with from Bowser, they're, they're flush. They're shots that he's not blocking. He's kind of pulling away, turning his head. And those are the shots that get you, the ones that you don't see. I can't help but notice the legs of Bowser. He got some power in those shots. Look how big those legs are. The power comes from the ground up. Having big tree trunks like that, you know he's delivering some big power. It's leg day for Tim Bradley this week. That's like, that's going to be a theme when Xander Zaya steps into the ring as well. So the Puerto Ricans with strong legs, you're going to be hearing that from Timothy Bradley tonight. No knockdown against Michael Williams there from Bowser. Referee Charlie Fitch. Let go of him, Michael. Let go of him. You can see the strength of Bowser. That has to be a knockdown. Come on, let's see. Man. No, it's not a knockdown. He pushed him down, but it's showing who the stronger man is. Oh, that's yes. what that's showing. And Williams has given up. You can't allow yourself to be pushed to the canvas like that. It takes energy to get back up, but you're also letting your opponent know that I'm much more physically stronger than my opponent. And that's the message Williams is sending him. Williams is up, and so is Bowles on the scorecards, and he wants to finish this right now. Give these Puerto Rican faithful something to tie smile up. about. Yeah, He's going on his own. He needs to tie up. That's what he needs to do. You got to work on this stuff in the gym. You got to know how to tie up and survive. You can just see that Williams Jr. is not all there, and Bowser is trying to find that one shot to end this fight. Well, he doesn't want to get hit, Bernardo, and that's why he's even going down on his own accord sometimes. He just doesn't want to get hit. He doesn't know how to defend himself when he's hurt because he's never experienced this as a professional. Well, you don't have to experience it, but you got to work on it in the gym because it's bound to happen in a, in a boxing match. Michael Williams Jr. This is round three. Two times Michael Williams has been down. One time in the first round, and the second was a lot harder. And it's impressive that he got up after that left hook that John Bowser was able to land. Now it's a very uphill battle for Michael Williams Jr. You can almost say that Williams is being overpowered, but it's a lot of skill. Oh, oh, he's coming through the ropes. Queen. Okay. 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 I almost had a third member sit down here on the broadcast table. Yeah, I, I know. I saw him. I, I knew he won't come this way. But you could just see that he's looking for a way to be closer to the canvas without being hit because mm. Bowser, he's dangerous when he has any type of range. Well, Williams just doesn't have any answers right now. I think he's a good boxer when he's fa fa facing certain competition, but he's not physically strong. And now he's experiencing something that he's never experienced before, yep. and he doesn't have any answers. That's a short right counter from Bowser. He's experiencing a guy with a higher IQ, a guy with more firepower. A guy with a lot more experience as well. 65 rounds. For Bowser, less than nine, less than Frank, Michael no Williams punches. Jr., but Queens, he's fought back, better Queens. competition. And sometimes it's not the rounds, it's the quality it's of the rounds. It's the quality of rounds, exactly. The competition on the way up. You know, you can get a false of security by fighting guys, you know, below your stature, before your level, you know, below your level. So, you know, Williams, that might be the case with him. No, that is the case. No <laughs> question about that. And that's all, I mean, it just is what it is, you know. Yeah. And, and I think with Williams, when you see a fighter 
going through something like this for the first time, you want to see how he responds. He may not figure it all out, but is he showing heart even though skillfully he's losing the fight? Is he is he pressing, you know, when he could fall back and, and, and go into self-preservation mode? And he's just not, the body language isn't good. What he's trying to do isn't good, and I think it's just a matter of time, fellas. And I think the referee, Charlie Fitch, has to at some point call him out on going down so easily because yeah. he's avoiding punishment and he's he's kind of doing it right as Bowser's loading up on a big shot. He might have to take a point, point from him. Williams about to run into the right hook of Bowser. He's setting him up right now for that right hook. I think it's the left, either yeah. overhand or straight. I mean, that's a problem for Williams. Is he's been there dropped by both hands, and so it's like, pick your poison. There's that left hook, a right hook from Bowser. As Williams tries to establish a jab, but he's on his marathon run tonight. In that first tonight. professional fight, and he looked so relaxed and so poised. But in reality, I knew, <laughs> I know he had a lot going on the inside. You know, he says right now, fighting here, he says, I'm more prepared now. He says that I'm not as nervous as I was at the beginning. You know, so he's comfortable. And he's working inside the gym. And uh, one of the things that the coach said, Sugar said, was is that he's getting a lot better. He's starting to see a lot more when he's on the hand pads with him. He's starting to react more. Get you always want to see that. Oh, move. nice left. Bowser had landed a short right hand. What do you mean that's not a knockdown? His feet. That's no, his feet got tangled. Okay. His feet. I think it was both, Bernardo. I think he got he tangled and the punch landed. Yeah, he got clipped. He was so low, though. He came around. He got low. There's a stepping on, step the on the foot. Yep. That would explain a lot. But what I want to see from Williams right now is effort. I just want to see effort. Like, you may not have all the technical decisions made already. You may not know how to beat Bowser, but but are you digging deep? Are you fighting? Do we do we sense that man? You're trying to fight your way and claw your way back in. So far, no. He hasn't shown that kind of temperament, and that's not good for him moving forward. Because other fighters that he faces, they're going to watch this fight, and they're going to take from this. The Gallum, the boy wonder. Well, he's wondering how Bowser's been so effective in these first three rounds, and now in round number four, halfway through. Oh, nice long left as Williams walking backwards, and he's down where he doesn't want to be. There's a left hand. Four, five, six, a right seven, hand. Excuse me. Eight. Walk to me. I'm see your gloves. Start with the gloves, okay? It's both hands, actually. Right. Third hook. knockdown of the fight. A minute left for Williams. Can Bowser finally finish him? That's another knockdown. Fourth Three, one of the fight. Four, five, six, if I'm in. The red corner right now. I'm getting the towel ready. I'm ready to throw this towel in. Son, you ain't ready. Okay. Box. Absolutely. They're talking about it. But then again, it's his father in the corner. And that's sometimes the toughest decision to make. Guess what? Bowser makes it for him with a big left hook. Finishing Michael Williams Jr. When somebody should have been taking care of him. There it is, Dre. You said it. Left hand right down the middle. Boom. Kill shot. Yeah, man, great, great fight for Bowser. He wasted no time getting to Michael Williams, and Michael Williams just didn't have what it takes to beat this fighter tonight. He's got a lot to work on, and he's really got to look at his career. And I know you're like, well, that's his first loss, but there's some glaring issues here. These are things that are not going to go away if he fights this level of competition or how. Declaring your winner by technical knockout, John A. Terrible Bowser. He lived up to his name, El Terrible. He was terrible tonight for Michael Williams Jr. as he took an impressive victory going 16-0 with seven knockouts. John Bowser here at Madison Square Garden will come back with more action from New York City.